What's good, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Mr. Raw. At Raw Customs, representing New Era Car Club. Come to you today with a little quick vid how to paint your stern wheel. Okay. The things I got here I got two cans, one red, dupli color, vinyl, and fabric. Other can, black. Duper color, vinyl, and fabric. Okay, gonna need that. Of course, you're gonna need your stern wheel. I'm gonna go two tone. I'm gonna go two colors on the stern wheel. That's the purpose of the two colors of paint. I got my some Scotch Bright right here. Got me a rag, and you're gonna need something like this. Lack of thinner. What I'm using. You got to make sure you thoroughly clean the stern wheel. Because the oil from your hands from driving all over the years or whatever is really in here. And you need to have the stern wheel as clean as possible. As clean as possible. Okay. I already kind of done started on this. Uh, first thing I did, of course, remove the stern wheel from the vehicle. I had an airbag right here. Be very careful with this. I guess it still probably could go off if it wanted to. I have no idea, but I ain't trying to find out. So, be very careful with this. This, I'm going to paint red. Okay? So, first thing I did, I took the stern wheel and washed it with Dawn dishwashing liquid because it removes grease really well. So I use Dunn and warm hot water, you know, to make sure it get clean pretty good. After I did that, my next step was I scotch brighted it. Scotch brighted the whole wheel. I scotch brighted the whole wheel, everything. Everything that was gonna get touched with paint, I scotch brighted. Especially around the threading areas because it's three and I felt like it's gonna soak more grease so I'm trying to really get it clean okay my next step I did was to take the rag here put some um, put some of that um, lacquer thinner down there on it and I really clean this stern with as much as possible trying to ensure that I remove all the grease and dirt build up around the stern wheel as much as possible that's how I got it clean and these dark colors and stuff like this is from over the years I guess you know and it's where it's just fading you know it's starting to wear it's old stern wheel it's out of a 98 expedition so I did as much as I could you know to get it clean and things so okay now I'm about to paint Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to take this can and shake it really well. I've been shaking it already before I got you on. So, this should be ready. Always hit it to spray. Make sure it's spraying correctly. Okay, now what you do, you start laying your evenly strokes to spray. And you let that dry before adding the next coat. You want to let it sit maybe about five minutes before adding the next coat. Okay. Five minutes. 
five minutes. Now it's time to apply the second. Sorry about the phone moving around while trying to spray. I'm just trying to get it so you guys can see what's going on. Let that dry. Three, five minutes. And this dupe color, it works really well. Uh, it actually works so good, you know. I, I didn't know, I didn't think that it would work this good. Holding and sticking onto this material like it do. I painted my dashboard in the truck with it. I have a vid on that too. So I just thought I'd just do one with the steering wheel because I didn't want my steering wheel to remain that tan beige color. So I changed the color. But this is how she comes so far. And I just let that tack up a little bit. Three to five minutes. Okay, two. I'm back with the third coat. Um, I usually try to just only put three coats on uh, and try to make sure I have everything fully covered. Um, so it won't cause the paint to start wrinkling when you add too many coats. So this is going to be my last coat. I think three should be sufficient. I try to always make sure I get that force now and now, and that's going to be it. That's the third coat. Now, all thing I have to do, wait till it dry and move it out the way, and then put the stern wheel itself on here. This is the airbag and horn, and then I'll cut you back on. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. Now I'm about to paint the steering wheel black. See, I have the cruise control buttons taped up, masked up, so I try to protect them, try not to get any paint on them. Um, and some few wire connectors under there I got taped up too. Try not to get them. Like I say, most important thing, try to make sure everything's clean as it can be. Then you just go and apply the paint like so. Thank you. 
Now, if you're wondering, I have this thing set up with a little clothes hanger so I can try to flip, spin it down, flip it so I can hit the back side of it as well. Now, I'm no professional, so that's a lot of y'all might be saying, what the fuck is he doing? I wouldn't do that like that. Well, I'm sorry. I'm doing it like that until I learn otherwise. Okay, that looks pretty looks pretty good for the first little coat. I'm gonna flip it down and see what I can get done. Okay, as you can see, I have it flipped over and hanging so now I can get the back to it. You might notice that there's holes right here. Those are little caps where you got to take the start help get the um, airbag off. And I have those right there. Spray those black. Uh oh, clothes don't look good anyway. By the way, I hope this video ain't that long. Try not to make them that long. Okay, let that dry. Then put it back over and do it again. Okay, I had a starting wheel back up. Now, it's been five minutes. You got to apply the next coat. And you also repeat that step again, which I won't show you the third step, but it's just repeating the same step again and even the spray as much as you can until you cover all the area and ensure that the wheel is black. So, I'll pop it back on once I get it all back like it's supposed to be. Okay, two, here I am back again with the final product. Like I say, the duper color, vinyl and fabric spray, aerosol can, it works really well. So I suggest if you're trying to do your stern wheel, Go for it. Forward. Comment, subscribe. Holler back at your boy.